Hi everyone, Close Model Designs here with part 2 of the 1 to 1 scale Boba Fett costume build. So where we left off, I was showing you the helmet and the plans for it. Um, they did change slightly. I found that uh, even though it got the cold cast aluminum and the bare metal look, I found that it was just too dark or grey when I started to put other paints on. So I stripped it down again and uh, restarted the helmet. But what I did was first I primed it with this here, this metal primer, goes on clear. And then I sprayed all over the helmet with this uh, bare metal silver, as you see right here. So it looks, you know, really nice. And then I started masking, uh, masking it off. First I masked off what I wanted for silver using, uh, i got two different kind of uh, maskings. Right there it goes on liquid. You know, for certain parts I use, you know, for that and other parts I use that. You know, it all depends on your preference. So first off, what it is, I masked off uh, the areas I wanted to keep, you know, the silver, which you see right there. And then I sprayed a racing white. So it's kind of like this creamy color. And that's what you get right here for certain parts. And it's on the side as well. And then once uh, once I got, you know, where I wanted it to be, I, want, I masked that off. Now, I did not take mask off in between sprays. I just left it on. So I, you know, put the silver mask on, sprayed it with the, the cream, and then masked the cream. And then the next one was uh, gray. I used a gunship gray too. Can't really see this one here. It's like kind of right there. Um, you know, there. So it's kind of all over the place, you know, different spots. And then I masked that where I wanted it. And then finally, I ended with uh, a natal black. Now, I'm not sure if the camera will pick this up, but this is kind of like a, a weird kind of greyish, so greyish, greenish, bluish. You know, it's really kind of, it's not black, definitely not black. But you can see, you know, it's got this kind of green tone to it. So then I sprayed that. And then after all that, I took all the masking uh, off, as you can see. You know, it took a while uh, to get it all off, especially because I've uh, been doing layers. I seem to have some problems with my little light here. Um, you know, it took a little bit of time to, to, to take the layers off. And how I did it is usually I just started with an X-Acto knife, kind of started it. And then I started with uh, kind of one of these brushes right here. You know, it's kind of like this coarse, you know, feel to it. And then it just kind of scrubbed. So it doesn't scratch the helmet much at all, really. And it just starts peeling off all the layers. You have to be somewhat aggressive with it. And then, uh, you know, by the time you're done, your brush kind of looks like that. So you know you did a good job when, you know, it looks like this. Don't get too much of an angle uh, because this metal here will scratch your helmet. Luckily, you are doing a damaged helmet. So if you miss it, then, you know, so be it. So the end uh, result is that right there. I mean, I added scratches in this just with an exact knife cutting down to, you know, the bare metal silver. Now, again, it's not exact to the movie. Not even, you know, well, I should say not even close. It's actually pretty close. Um, but I'm not going for the 100% movie accurate uh, as far as, you know, all the damage goes. Uh, you'll drive yourself nuts doing that. So it's all freehand as far as you know the damage goes I just kind of use uh, you know pictures like like that as a template and then just kind of go from there and you do have to do this helmet in sections uh, I find that's just best if you try to do it all at once you know trying to mask things here and there it's just gonna be a nightmare so there we go another thing I did too is I realized that Boba Fett actually has some actual damage to the helmet so, I, you know, I, with my Dremel, I kind of added uh, damage right there, you know, right here, just kind of chipped away. Not Nothing big, just a little bit, just to add some physical damage right there, and then, of course, a couple right there. So next is uh, either th this part of the helmet or the top. I'm not quite sure. I have to kind of plan how I want to do this just to make it easier. I did leave this in to keep the, the helmet, you know, structurally sound. And it's not until I'll, I paint this area is when I'll take this out just to keep it nice and strong. Also, too, for overspray and things like that. So, it, you know, this piece will, will take it from the inside if I overspray certain parts. Usually what I do is I put a whole a big garbage bag over my hand, put my hand up the helmet when I spray. That way I don't spray my arm. So there we go. So it's coming along real nice. Uh, at least I think so. Um, 
you know, I don't know how many, I'm not sure how many people are going to attempt this, but, uh, you know, I want to get it out there for, for my own, uh, you know, recording. That way I can uh, look back and see how I did it in case I forget because i got so many projects on the go. So there we go. So that's part two, working with the helmet. Hopefully that made sense. And uh, again, please like, share, and subscribe, and I look forward to your comments. Thanks so much. Bye.